cool. All right, everyone. This is Ryan here, uh, joined by Wakeman. We're here for the finals <laughs> between Hunter and M Boss. Any yes, comments, sir. Wake? Uh, no, I'm just I'm super excited to uh, see this this play out. I have uh, this ranked battle series seven rules apparently. Uh, uh, they're the same rules, so <laughs> I, no, I've no, done that. I do that all the time. I'm lazy. That's all right, so we see reasonable. Hunter kind of putting his team together here. He's he's got a lot of stuff in his box, um, a lot of cardio wow, sitting he, around. He um, keeps his he keeps his teams. So real quick, while he's kind of doing that, we did take a glance at the pace prior. Um, do you have any like? big observations or takeaways on Emboss's side? Um, on Emboss's side, uh, I mean, he is bringing uh, some, like, you know, he's bringing an offensive Stoutland, um, and he's bringing double Intimidate, which looks pretty decent into what Hunter's bringing. Yeah, it um, doesn't look bad into his more offensive threats, physical offense. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah. I'm surprised that he didn't go for, like, a if I'm Hunter, I'm thinking potentially like a Sandrush Stoutland is here, maybe with like after you support, um, just off the bat, off the bat. Uh, that kind of thing's been run before in a couple leagues we've been mm -hmm. in. I really like yeah. um, Hunter has a couple neat decks on here. I like the Sash Pre Marina with the foul play and the Swaconberry. Uh, uh, Mr. Mime's gonna do a lot of. Uh, I just mixed up those mods. Uh, <laughs> swap those. Um, so we see Mime Galler lead with Holt, um, which to me that looks like a relatively safe lead. I think him not leading Sand game one is kind of, is pretty smart. Yeah, I think using that as a, as a, um, momentum shift game two, uh, can be pretty, pretty advantageous for him, especially with, or having it in the back, uh, since yeah. M Boss is going to be cycling Intimidate here. Okay. We know this Raichu is Scarf and Shiny. Uh, yeah. Respect. Uh, did did Emboss make all his mods shiny for finals? I think so. Nice. I usually um, pick one mod to make shiny for finals, so I respect that a lot. Gotcha. I usually make my mods shiny unless they're ugly like Obstagoon, then I don't. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. So, going for a Thunderbolt. Okay. Ice Beam Thunderbolt. That should KO most, like, support Togekisses, but, uh, this but appears it to could be... be an issue since this is a bulky offense. weakness policy. Yeah. Well, it's actually not set. super bulky. It's not super bulky, but it's bulky enough that it'll take these and kill something. Right. Likely that Dragon my... Bolt. Yeah, my concern comes in when... Okay. Nope. Uh... Oh, that's, a... that's an unfortunate miss. Uh, gets yeah. not insignificant chip, but not the best chip I've ever seen. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, that para would have been pretty uh, pretty good to land. Oof. Yeah, Togi's taking oh a lot of damage god. there. Oh my god. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> that sucks. Wow, that is, some, that is some game one RNG right there. We also know that this Raikou is Scarf Locked right now into that Thunder Wave, so I don't know if Emboss switches out here or not. Um, you if you're just, Hunter, you you know at this point the Raikou Scarf, so... Yeah, you he may just Thunder Wave into Dragapult again. Um, yeah. Yeah, looks like that's I the play. I absolutely probably would have done the same thing, because there's no way that yeah, Hunter would I, take advantage of trying to kill this Togekiss. Yep, for sure. Man, dude, that's that's painful. Man, it's frozen. Full para, maybe? Maybe nope. a full para, nope. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Wow. That's tough. That is a... That is, like, a worst-case finals game one scenario. Yeah, like, I was just saying, yeah, I'm really glad Super Superior uh, didn't have a ton of RNG. Yeah, we didn't have and a lot of hacks between Gumi and I, and then this just opens with a Thunderwave this Freeze. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I would be... If, if I'm Emboss right now, I am, like, throwing my controller against the wall. Well, I uh, guess a lot of this set will be him trying to scout information more than likely. And also yeah, trying to kind of yeah. maintain cool. Like, it's really hard to, like, keep Tilt in control when something like that happens, especially in finals. So we'll see if he can kind of keep a level head through the rest of the set. 
Um, yeah, because... I think he can. I haven't seen him get tilted about too much. Um, okay, yeah, he's going to switch out the Raikou now. Man, I wish Tyler. I didn't get tilted about too much. I would be... <laughs> I would be tilted. <laughs> oh, I would... Yeah, I, like I said, I'd be throwing my controller against the wall right now. Air balloon. So he does reveal the air balloon. Interesting tech. Yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, it means that, you know, on that Raikou lead, he has a safe switch into like a Max Quake from Excadrill or something. Yeah. We see a big Draco Meteor come out into Hitmontop. Yeah. Take a lot well, of damage. Yeah, that was a pretty safe click on Hunter's end. Like, whatever switched in there wasn't really going to want to take that. Yeah. I think he. Potentially, yeah, just Draco's again into the hip on top slot. Yeah, um, I think that's safe. I actually might have Dragapult considered... probably dies here. Yeah, he's, Pulp uh, probably dies. Well, if I'm, I mean, if I'm emboss, Dark Pulse into the Dragapult looks very free right now. Yeah, you know? maybe potentially a just fake out into flinch. Mr. Mon. Yeah. 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 And Dragapult should go. Oh, Earth, Earth Power. Okay. He must that's... have been reading the switch. Yeah. Yeah, maybe reading a switch into an Excadrill. Yeah, that seems pretty likely to me. Well, Excadrill doesn't still take Dark Pulse all too, too well. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I get it, though. I, I think at this point... Yeah, uh, you're kind of down. Realizes he's yeah, down enough down. that he has to make plays like that. Like, he would have to land a big read like that to make this back, I, I think. Yeah, I don't I want to agree. call it too soon, but I think it's kind of over. Yeah, if I'm Hunter, I just keep Draco metering until this thing is down. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's really interesting to think about <laughs> in an alternate universe what that turn one would have looked like if the freeze hadn't landed. Oh, um, well, yeah, and the Thunder Wave. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just a lot of RNG right there. See, yeah, mine, the... the Holy crap, oh, I'm wow. honestly shocked Mime lived that. This is non -hugulate. I am also surprised. Oh, look, finally okay. a full para. Oh, poor Hunter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hunter's had the real shit RNG this game. Um, you know, he's oh, down, yeah, on, down on his Wonderful luck. Para. Yeah, honestly, it's like, yeah, this is rough. I I feel I feel bad for Emboss here, but it also, it happens. Yeah, there's the Dark Pulse. Right. Yeah, I would have okay, gone for so, the Dark Pulse just for that para flinch, you know? Yeah, I agree. But it doesn't particularly matter because uh, this Excadrill Pre-Marine is about to yeah, hit the he, field. And can't, can't do anything against this, really. Yeah, I mean, he can max either Mon and pick it up, I think. I think you probably just max Grim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm almost wondering if a Protect from Excadrill comes out to preserve information. Okay, yeah. Because wow. now he gets to see, so th the nice thing for Emboss is he can potentially see how much an Earth Power is doing to Excadrill, and yeah. he can see that Primarine is Wakan Berry as well. It also lets um, him know the speed investment on the Excadrill, which is good information to have. Yep. You see this beautiful Max Prey Marina uh, come out and uh, try to kill these shinies that are disturbing the peace. Uh, yeah, so he sees Wakanberry, which is good info to have. Yeah. Which is also a problem for... Uh, High horse power that... KOs. And you know that yeah, this did, it, has it, a lot of speed investment. Yeah, and I was going to say, it's faster than Hydreigon, so... But he still gets to see how much this does. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. he didn't even kill. I don't know. Exodral Special Bulk isn't too, too bad. Um, especially, like, in a max format, so... Yeah. He now knows that even from, like... He now knows that if Excadrill is the max option, which, obviously, it's an optional max, because Life Orb is pretty good on it, he now knows that that is looking pretty good yeah. for game two. Yeah. So now, I mean... Dude, I don't know. I think, I mean, Hunter got the win here, but I think that adjusting for game two probably has to happen on both ends. Because yeah, I agree. Like, I mean, yeah, with 
with how much good RNG Hunter had there, like literally just deleting his uh, emboss's max for free. I I don't it still wasn't that far, you know what I'm saying? Like like it wasn't that much of a blowout, all things considered. No. Um Yeah, and I think Hunter's realized that and so has Emboss. They're both like, okay, I need to rethink yeah. some things. A lot of info got revealed game one too. Still liking the mime. Um yeah, I think the mime lead is probably safe. I wonder if he's gonna... Okay, he's still going Dragapult. I wondered if he would question that, since he knows about the Scarf Thunder Wave and, and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Maybe he's not. I almost feel like you might consider, like, a My Max Goodrill lead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't he's... think a Sand lead. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, with the yeah. in the back? Yeah, that makes sense. One, note one thing to note about uh, the Gigalith set here is it is not Pasho Berry, so it's going to... A potential Araquanid does a lot to it. Yeah, um, that's true. And Araquanid is Charty Berry, so most likely wins that 1v1. Well, depending on if Trick Room's up or not, but... Yeah. Looks like Trick Room will not go up. Yeah, it doesn't look like either of them really brought that mode. But Araquanid is still an Araquanid. I, I know not to right. sleep on that thing. Okay, okay, we Raikou do see Stoutland. Raikou Stoutland. So this is a very, like, support lead. Uh, I... Support... Okay, getting okay. the Intimidate off on Excadrill is pretty significant. Yeah. Well, he also knows Raikou could have Scald. I think if I'm him, I fake out the Stoutland, fake out the Stoutland or Reflect actually seems fine. If you're expecting a max. Yeah. So. I, I am if... wondering if, if, Hunt, if Emboss is going to max this Stoutland, or... Because this is a life orb offensive Stalin set, so he could. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with this play. It's a little too aggressive uh, off the bat for me. Like, I get that Raikou's a problem. Um, but I feel like you have to make a pretty hard read on Emboss's end to lock yourself into Thunder Wave on a uh, potential pre Marina switch, you know? Okay, we see Stalin protect for pro probable fake out. I like that. Thunderbolt comes yeah, out into mine. I, uh... I did wonder if... Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with the double in either. I, I think it's... I mean, it worked out, I mean, it worked but that does feel risky. Yeah, the... Yeah, this is interesting. Uh... I did also wonder maybe if, if he wouldn't high horsepower that slot in case of the uh, air balloon hit on top switch in, but I think keeping an intimidate in the back for like a gigalith switch. Oh, he's gonna bring it out now. Yeah, there's no way Hunter does not switch out this X Goodwill like right now. Yeah, he has to. The... And the pre marina probably. Yeah, yeah, I agree. If I'm him, I just click reflect and switch X Goodwill going to prim, right? Yeah, yeah. I think probably the safest... Oh, oh, Gigalith. That's interesting. I don't know why he's preserving this minus two uh, Excadrill on the field right now. Yeah, that, that's that's interesting. Huh. Okay, Hydreigon switch in. Sucker punch. Uh, okay. Man, I I don't know about this game so far. <laughs> um, I guess Sucker Punch makes sense, predicting Mime to outspeed him on top and then attack you with like an ice beam. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't hate that play, but to be fair, he probably was expecting the Excadrill to switch out. Okay, this is... Pivoting back into Mime here makes sense to me. Um, yeah, worst case scenario, you sack Mime and you get a neutral Excadrill to go in. Yeah. But the thing you have to keep in mind if you're Hunter is 
Uh, okay. Stalin is still in the back. Well, I mean, honestly, if I'm him, I sack mine here and then just click and blast into one of the two slots on the field right now. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's fair. Is this gonna be okay? Oh wow! Double up into Gigalith. Okay. I don't I don't mind that normally, but I think that was yeah, a the, good play. The play. I from mean, Hunter you have to scout for protect, especially because AV Gigalith is really bulky. Yeah, true. And it's something that I think Hunter has plenty of reason to run. Okay, we see a reflect finally come up. Um, I wonder if this is going to be another double into Gigalith? I would assume so. I could see a Sucker Punch lead on him on top, but I don't think it's likely. I don't know if he goes for that again. I don't, I don't think he can afford risking losing that much momentum here. Yeah, no Sucker Punch. Okay, it is going to be a double in most likely. Probably won't die with Reflect. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's The problem that's is close. Hunter's losing mods here, essentially. Like, he's not outputting enough, because this Rock Slide's going to do okay yeah. enough damage, but, I mean, it, lets, it pops the air balloon, I guess, but... And the problem is... Hunter has to be very careful clicking an attack with Mr. Mime now, now that he knows Sucker Punch is out there. Yeah. I don't think you bother protecting X Goodrill. I think you want a double sack here. I agree. You want to get that Pre Marina X Goodrill in for free, and then you want to max Pre Marina. Yeah, I think that that would be the end game I'd be playing towards as well. Um, If I'm M Boss. I mean, honestly, Max Raikou sounds a little crazy, but it could work. Oh my. Them freezes, though. I mean, it's going to die to the sand ship, uh, Sandstorm through Penny. Yeah, but it's, it's not going to kill Gigalith. That sucks. Man, dude. That's rough. So, I don't. You know? This is... This is an interesting endgame. Yeah. We see Axkadrill come out, which I don't know if I agree with that. And he still doesn't... Oh, no, he does know... Okay, yeah, the Intimidate is going to be really good here. Yeah, that's why I would have preferred a Pre-Marina, potentially. Hmm. So it looks like he's, yeah, he's still saving his max for Primarina, which is the right call, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I think Stoutland has to max, and I think you have to just Earth Power into the Gigalith. Yeah. I'm not really calling this out of Emboss's wheelhouse yet, though, because Stoutland is okay. Um, yeah. Um, if, also, I if think he earlier could... I thought I said Raikou in the back. I meant Stoutland. That was my bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I think Stoutland, Stoutland here was good. Um, yeah. Let's see. I mean, okay, Gigalith protects... Okay, that doesn't do very much. Stalin's not looking awful if it can take Ooh, a max move. Goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he may, he may be max knuckling here. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, this is Pre Marina versus the world. Um, this is. So, basically, he has to click max lightning and, and then you know, live a, a hit from Primarina, which I think he will. Primarina is yeah. not taking Max Lightnings here. No. So that's that yeah, one so, was a good call. Yeah, suddenly I'm liking Emboss's position here. That was a good turn for him. Yeah, I His feel like if Hunter had played that a bit differently, he actually gets it. 
because if he had just not gone for the... He's kind of been cycling for attacks. Uh, he should have just attacked the Hydreigon um, to get rid of it, so that way it was a Stoutland, and then Stoutland, at best, could get plus one attack off the Gigalith, yeah. and then you have Excadrill Premier to double targeting it, which I think improves Hunter's odds pretty drastically. I think that he sort of fumbled this endgame a bit, I also honestly think he could have brought in Free Marina a lot earlier. Um, there was a couple turns there where I felt like once Raikou was off the field, Prim felt pretty safe. Like, look at how much yeah. better Power's doing. Like, if you prevent this Stoutland from being able to get this momentum in this endgame, then I feel like Pre Marina just auto wins. But as it stands, I am pretty doubtful because it looks like the next one will kill because he got that knuckle off. Yep, and he has terrain as well. So this was a really good game too by Emboss. Uh, yeah, his the adaptation, the targeting in that last turn was really solid. Yeah, I feel and like he had to make that targeting, but it was very like, I think that was one hundred percent the correct play. For sure. Yep. It's a risky play, but um, Hunter was playing, I think, a little predictably with that Gigalith, clicking protect every other turn. So I think yep. Emboss had a fairly safe bet uh, with that. So oh, we do so see he the max is, card come out. He should still pick up the KO. Yeah, he's at plus one. Reflect, oh, is, and gone. reflect is gone. Yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, it is Thunderfang, I think, so it can miss. So it's Wild Charge, actually. Oh, it's I Wild think. Charge. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then that. Yeah, it's Wild Charge. So this that'll kill be... the Stoutland with re with recoil, but. Yeah, you know. I mean. You take that if you're if you're yeah, in Yeah, you, you absolutely take that. Okay, so that was yeah, that was a big adaptation. Um and honestly, Emboss still had some pretty unfavorable RNG. Uh Well, actually though, I don't even know. I I feel like if he Oh, Stalin lived. What a king. <laughs> uh Stalin the goat. Um I don't know, like that turn that the Ice Beam froze Hitmontop when it would have killed Gigalith. I actually almost wonder if that was good for Emboss because it just kept Gigalith in yeah. instead of Prim Luna. You, you didn't want, yeah, I feel like had that Prim come out earlier, it would have been a huge issue. Um, yeah, I agree. Because I think it just kind of ate through the rest of the team. All right, so let's see the adaptation. I, yeah, I agree. I still agree with the Mr. Mime Lee. I don't know if I do anymore. Um, well, you know, Raikou lead looks really good into you. I actually almost would prefer Luxray to Mr. Mime here, potentially. So he's bringing the same four, it looks. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know if late game Polk gets from that end game, though. Especially because he yeah. knows that Stoutland gets play rough. Yeah, and now that he knows that Stoutland is offensive, I think that changes his. I think that changes how he plays this for sure. Yeah. So yeah, I'm interested to see what kind of adaptation is going to come out from Emboss yeah. here. I feel like Hunter's prep here was really, really good overall, but I feel like Emboss has a couple things here that are putting Hunter a bit on the back foot. Um, yeah, uh, Hunter not bringing Sock means he has relatively few answers for an offensive Stoutland, which I know maybe isn't the hugest target in prep, but I mean... Yeah, it in gets practice good. against... But Hunter's brought, like, this core of Mons to all of his playoffs games. So, I yeah. feel like Emboss really hard prepped for the six in particular. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I can uh, I can confirm I helped him prep for this match, so I ah. can confirm these were prepped for. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Raikou Hydreigon, okay. I I like this lead, I think. Well. Hmm. If I'm I'm gonna be honest, if I'm Hunter, I just throw in I just throw in the Gigalith right now. And kill Raikou. Get the speed boost, kill it with high horsepower. Yeah. I yeah, I don't disagree with that. I think he's considering that play right now. Yeah, I'm not sure that he's going to try to set Reflect again. I don't. It didn't really help him that much last game. 
just a lot of offense coming out. Okay. Protect. Okay, okay, this is the bus switches into yep, the air balloon hit on top. All right, Hunter made a good play. Um, yeah, that was. That was that's also right a play. nice new. That's a nice neutral play on Emboss's part. Lowering the attack on the extra lead is pretty much always a good thing. Yeah, a dark pulse here into Mister Mime could be big. Yeah, especially if it flinches. Man, Mime is fast. Yeah, I've oh always my gosh, forget. that does a lot. Okay. That'll, that'll really have a sash. Yeah, so now Hunter has to think, does he want to save Mr. Mime, or does he want to let it go down to a fake out? It's going to go down to a fake out here. Yep. Yeah, I, I agree. I think you let it go down. Well, also potentially you fake out the Hitmon top uh, into the Excadrill slot because you know it's free. That's another option. Yeah, I, the problem is... Yeah, I, I think I think faking out the Mr. Mime here is the right play. Because honestly, because... fake out plus Earth Power might KO Excadrill, so in Emboss's mind, that might be a risk worth taking. So. No. But it is not. Raikou, Throwing okay. The Raikou back in. I actually really like that. You know, he's not going to high horsepower that slot. So you yeah, get your sure. KO here. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind that play. Oh, it's at minus that's... one. Your Raikou eats it fine. Not very effective. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very... That was super well played on Emboss's end. And I actually like Hunter's play. Um, going for the Ice Beam there. Yeah, I think either way, letting it go down is is correct there. Uh, now the Sand Rush Excadrill does become a problem, but he uh, Hunter has to think about, does he want to max a minus one Excadrill? Yeah, my main issue here is that he doesn't have a safe switch, which is kind of why I wasn't loving Mime for this game, because at this point, Emboss knows it's not very bulky, so it's not living those turns that Hunter needs for kind of the slow max game plan he's going for. Yeah. So there is the, always the possibility of a double up into Gigalith here, and without Reflect, it might... KO, but I don't think it will. Well, right can not... Scald, too. If I'm him, I'm just spamming Scald or T-Wave at this point. He just... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, because oh, you, wow. just, you just go for Scald. You just fish for Scald burns <laughs> yeah, at this point. Three and then yep. Oh! Yep. A Scald into Gigalith could have just meant Gigalith dies. Yeah, but this Rock Slide's not going to do too, too much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Him on top is still, still putting a lot of pressure on, on the the on Hunter's side. Yeah, but even at minus one, I actually don't hate Hunter's damage here. Yeah. Yeah. Going hmm. hard into Prim, I actually like that because you know it's locked into Scald, and what's a hit on top doing to Prim? Yeah. I do feel like there's going to be another double up into Excadrill, though, since he knows he can't protect. Yeah, I do think that Emboss will switch. Oh, right. Excadrill switched out. My bad. Yeah, I feel like Emboss might do a switch here, though, too. Scald into oh. the Gigalith. Okay, he looks like he might have called the switch or. Oh, that's no. nice. Just solid chip. Yeah. Okay. Well, of course, Combat takes a doesn't. Lot. A lot more that, than you would have thought. That was damn it, like I would not I would be happy with that damage if I were. Yeah, I And would it looks too. like he lives this now with the burn. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So honestly, if I if I'm emboss now, like I you can click he can click Thunderbolt and get rid of the Wakanberry on Primarina. He can't um, if, he does, choice if he does have Scotland in the back. He's choice locked, he can't switch oh, oh right, 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 right. So, so I wonder. Hmm. No, yeah, Hunter has a pretty fine play here. I mean, if he has a spread move, he can just click it on Prim. Does Prim have a spread move? Um. Let me check. Or Rock Slide. No, it does not. No. Yeah, so this would have been sense. a good. This would have been a good time to have Hyper. Uh, hyper Voice just to get just because it would KO both. Yeah, I'm really loving how slow and, and like, 
uh, switch based this game has been. Um, okay, protect. I wonder if Hydreigon needs to. I don't know if you need to protect that turn. Because, like, yeah, I don't know much what, I agree with that. like, you I already know it. that both Mons can't KO you. I, I honestly would have considered a Moonblast into the Hitmon top or the Hydreigon slot, because you're pretty safe to do yeah. either of those things. Mm hmm. Because I. I could be very wrong, but I feel like this end game that Emboss is setting up is probably a Max Stoutland end game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Which I don't hate at all. No, um, I feel like it, right now I max my Excadrill and I click uh, Iron Head with it. Yeah. Oh, he's. I agree. Just, I think maxing. Just, just scale spike into the hit on top, kill the Hydreigon, and like get that get that plus one defense boost so you can live through the end game the other problem is oh he's maxing pre-marina okay getting the intimidate i i agree with that oh no raikou okay Just yeah and this it. is why i wanted that's this is why the play i suggested was the play i wanted um because you still spike still spiking into the hit on top is super safe there because even if he switches out, like, the hit on top, you still get a kill on something. Yep. Um, and you get that defense boost to help you kind of tank that Stoutland out. Ooh, that's a bad miss. It's a very bad miss, actually. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, because that, that Raikou's going to outspeed, and now he can Thunderbolt, break Wakan, and then... I mean, well, honestly, if you're an M-Boss, you just, you just toss in the Hitmon, Hitmon top, and you just click Fake Out into that Excadrill, kill it. Oh, Raikou lives. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was live on, like, one or two. Sans yeah, I, could, I, so. I couldn't tell. <clears throat> yeah, you just throw in Hitmon top here. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm, I'm not hating Emboss's position here at all. No, because he's going to max that Stoutland and break that uh, Barry on the Pre-Marina. Yeah, and I feel like... Is this the last turn of Sand? I guess it doesn't matter all that much, because Stoutland's going to be slower anyway. Right. Okay, Protect... I, I think I agree with the yeah I, I agree with the you protect. have to protect there to not die to fake out. Okay. I mean at this point you're kind of hoping for iron, you're kind of hoping for iron head flinches I think. For your late game. Yeah, or a rock slide potentially. Does he have rock yeah. slide? Yeah, he has rock slide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and keeping I, that fake out on the hitman top was huge because otherwise. Hunter just targets into Raikou again. Oh, and Raikou's gonna live again because Sand left, uh, is gone. Yeah. Wow, yeah. If I'm... Yeah, if I'm emboss here, I, I feel like... Like, a max lightning kills Primarina, for sure. But... Yeah, you just... I mean... I don't Here's the thing. Think I feel like you're fine to... Your Raikou probably can KO with Max Lightning or get pretty close to it. I feel like you just target Excadrill, get it out of the way. Uh, but I, yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident in Emboss's endgame here. I think that Hunter can't really make a lot of 50-50s to make this in his favor at this point. Mm -hmm. And this might actually just be the end. Like This might just be a double KO turn. Or wait, did he Max Guard with Prim? Okay, Stalin, Stalin max guards. I don't, I don't really disagree with that play. No. I I mean, it's probably a little safer than he has to be right now. I but, agree. But I I, it's not a bad play either. He does have to one v two now. Yeah, oh, never mind. Girl dies to life warp chip. Yeah. And so this should be. Yep. Yeah, this should be Emboss's game here. Yeah, I mean, it was a really good set. Um, 
Yeah, for sure. Great adjustments, great plays by both. Um, that Max Stoutland, I feel like, just put in a lot, a lot of work here. Yeah, Emboss's ability to keep his head in the game after that first game, I'm really impressed by that. Yeah, that's, I'm very impressed by that. I really think Hunter prepped, not... prepped this one super well as well. Yeah, um, for sure. And I like his game two adjustment a lot. I feel like had he played game two slightly differently, he actually would have won the whole thing. Um, yeah, I think bringing Primarina in earlier, like you said, would have been better. But yeah, uh, that, uh, that is the set. GPs. Yeah, that's uh, huge. GPs Emboss, and congrats guys. to Emboss. Yeah, Emboss is the champion of the Huron Division of the Great Lakes Draft League. Congrats to both Hunter and Emboss making semifinals. It's a pretty honestly like this was the second division, but it was not like it wasn't a stacked division. At no, all. It was very tough. Um, so yeah. Congrats to both players. Yeah. Great set. All right. We will see you all um for the last uh playoffs game uh for the Erie division. I will not be there. Wake will be there though with Dan. Have a yep. great rest of the week, everybody, and we'll be seeing you. Bye.